it's a great day for a drive, especially in a 2023 F-150 XLT. And this is the new color, Avalanche. Think of powdered snow. And inside we have the black cloth interior, seating for five, four doors, and you have a five and a half foot box. You also have an interior works uh, station, if you will. So it folds out from your armrest and gives you a flat surface to work on or just have lunch. As well, it has a power sliding rear window, navigation, FX4 off-road package, which includes skid plates and a nice line box, as well as tailgate step, many more features. Stay tuned, we're gonna have a look under the hood and inside and out. And if you'd like to take this vehicle out on a test drive, you can book it online at Island Ford. This is a 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine paired with a 10 speed automatic transmission and it's a 4x4. Let's have a look inside. Storage and speaker in the door, as well as power locks, windows, and mirrors. Both driver and passenger seat are powered with lumbar. All weather mats on the floor with the F 150 logo. You have your electronic parking brake, power pedals, lighting controls, LED, side view mirror, spotlights, and there's also the lift gate release located there. There's a running board and grab handle, making it easier to get in. On the face of the steering wheel is your cruise control, lane keeping, volume your menu for your dash and hands-free dialing. This is a push start. Someone puts on the brake, keys in the pocket, and we're gonna push the engine start stop button. On your dash, any important messages, your odometer reading, and we can go into the menu. So my view, trip fuel, truck info, towing, navigation, phone, audio, settings, and these all have sub menus. In the center, we've got a little cubby, and then here we've got our camera. So we can just press on that. That'll give us a view. There we are in space, and then we have the view in front of us. We're going to press that again, come back to the main screen. We also have our hazard lights, hill descent, traction control, and we can go into our sources for our audio. This little red line is simply a protective cover that's on the screen and that'll come off when the vehicle's sold. AM, FM, Sirius satellite radio, as well as Bluetooth. We also have navigation and the map will come up for that. We can go into our settings and you're going to see different options there. You've got your sync navigation, vehicle connectivity to your display screen. You can actually change the look of that if you'd like. Your hotspot and other information, they all have submenus as well. And we can just touch on the screen for what we want. In our features, we have our towing, owner's manual, zone light, and driver assistance. And when we put the vehicle in reverse, we're gonna see our backup camera view. There we are in space. And then behind us, we're seeing there's some people and vehicles behind. Green, yellow, red is just telling us how close we are to those objects or vehicles. And the center line is that dotted line right off the back bumper there. To put us back into park for safety sake. And then we've got our volume and tuner. We've got our dual climate control, heated seats for driver and passenger, as well as the front and rear defrost. Your fans right there, AC and max AC. And then in your cubby, you have a place to put items as well as a USB, USB-C, pro trailer backup, integrated trailer brake controller, and drive mode in your 4x4 with locking differential. So as we dial through that, we're gonna see it appear on the dash. So there's normal. We go tow haul, and you notice the icons change, eco, sport, and I'm just gonna go back around the other way. We also have slippery, deep snow sand, mud ruts, as well as rock crawl. So these different options, and it's just re letting you know that you should be in 4L, shift to neutral to do that. And so if your road conditions are changing, the weather's changing, you can make adaptions using your drive mode to have a better driving experience, a safer driving experience, especially if the roads are slippery and wet. We have our automatic shifter and it's a select shift, and we can make this shifter go straight down and that gives us a flat surface. And that is because we have a work table that we can just clip, unclip and open up. So you can put your computer, your lunch, whatever you want there, which is kind of nice. And then you can just close that up. Now this still opens up and gives you lots of storage. There's a nice little bin there. And down below, you can put all sorts of things and they stay securely out of sight. Just close that up. Let's push the button again. It'll bring your shifter back up. Couple of cup holders. And you also have your 12 volt, 120 volt glove compartment, that's locking below and then the top one, you just press the button for that. You have an auto dimming rear view mirror, your lighting controls, sunglass holder, and there's the button for the power window in the rear. And as well, you've got a grab handle in the body and that just makes it easier to get in.
18 inch wheels, mud flap, black running board, body color door handle with intelligent access. That means when the fob's in close proximity, you can lock and unlock the doors and keyless entry keypad, driver's side, capless, easy fuel gas filler, your FX4 off-road badging, and that includes skid plates. You have body colored door, uh, sorry, body colored tailgate handle and the backup cameras just above that handle. LED light is to the right. Backup sensors on your bumper, four and seven pin connector, trailer hitch, and a locking spare tire. And then when you're ready and you want to bring that tailgate down, you simply double click and it'll power it down for you. Nice line box with tie downs in all four corners. And you also have a measuring tape, metric and imperial. As well, you have on the left and on the right clamps or a place to put clamps, I should say, you also have a tailgate step. That just makes it easier to get in and out. And that little, little yellow button pulls out, creating a handle, making it easier, giving you some stability in and out of the box. And then when you're ready, just close it up, lock it up and walk away, or jump in and head out on your latest adventure. I'll just point out, you also have the slots for the box link. You have an LED light as well. You have a power supply located there storage and speaker in the door as well as power windows seating for three in the back with a 60 40 split simply lift the seat with one hand it's in the upright position and then to bring it down just pull the tab there's anchors at the base to be able to tether baby seats a nice all-weather mat runs from one end to the other and you also have carpeted mats slim pockets on the back of the front seat as well you've got a couple of cup holders 12 volt air vents on each side usb usb c 120 volt grab handle in the body and you have hooks and lighting off to the side. In the back, access to a power sliding window with rear defrost. Body colored bumper, mud flaps, five and a half foot box that's lined, privacy glass in the back windows with window vents, adjustable side view mirrors with blind spot information system, auto high beams, fog lights, tow hooks, and so many more features. If you'd like to take this vehicle out on a test drive, you can book it online at islandford.ca. And if you like this video and would like to see more, please subscribe. We have plenty to share with you and we love to hear your comments.